Hello, Josh Stevens here, Head Geek at SolarWinds. Today we're going to talk about a brand new free tool called the SolarWinds VM Console. Now the VM or Virtual Machine Console allows you to keep an eye on your virtual machine servers or your vSphere servers from VMware. And while you're keeping an eye on them on your desktop, if you need to restart those machines or bounce them, or actually take a snapshot of the machines, or just keep an eye on how they're doing and then create do some real-time sort of maintenance, it makes it really, really easy to do that from this single console without having to stop what you're doing and then log into vCenter and make the changes there. Now the VM console is a free application. You can download it from SolarWinds.com. And you know probably the easiest way to talk about how it works is to actually show you. So let's do that now. After you've installed the SolarWinds VM console, you'll be prompted to enter in the IP address or server name, username and password for either one of your vSphere, ESX servers, or even a vCenter server. Now the username and password you'll enter are the username and password that you'll use to log in to VMware. So they're a VMware set of credentials, not the Windows user credentials. I've entered in here one of the IP addresses for one of our vCenter servers here in the lab. Then simply click OK. Once you've done that, the SolarWinds VM console will begin pulling information about all of the different ESX or vSphere servers managed by vCenter and of course the VMs running on that server. And as you can tell, the VM console gives you a quick added glance status through this nice little dashboard showing you the status of each of these uh, VMs and of course the virtual servers as well. Now at any time you can go ahead and launch one of these and simply right click on it and choose either take snapshot, shut down the guest, suspend it, or restart or bounce the guest. And you know as an administrator for, for VMware, one of the most common things I do as a troubleshooting step when someone's having a trouble or with their virtual server is just bounce the OS or restart it. And you can do that here. Now if I choose that I want to restart this one, the first thing it will ask me is, do I want to take a snapshot first or just simply go ahead and do the, the bounce without it? And I'm not going to actually do that now because that server is in production and I'm not exactly sure who's using it. Now the SolarWinds VM console also gives you a, a quick snapshot into some of our free tools that are available. You can go download those other free tools anytime. It gives you access to, uh, the, to try out the Orion Network Performance Monitor and specifically understand how it monitors the virtual infrastructure today. And of course the Git DT tab shows you access to our online community at thwack.com where we have a lot of content to help you understand more about using our products and of course managing your infrastructures in general. In a nutshell, the SolarWinds VM console makes it really easy, again, to keep an eye on all of your vSphere servers uh, by adding in the vCenter server and then tracking those ESX servers uh, on their own. It also lets you see the status of the VMs. And of course, then go in and either take a snapshot, start the guest OS, or if it's running, even reboot it and suspend it. Really handy tool to keep around if you're a VMware administrator out there or you use virtualization in your environment and you're constantly having to stop, start, suspend, restart, uh, or of course bounce those VMs. Again, it's been Josh Stevens here, head geek at SolarWinds. You can download the SolarWinds VM console for free from SolarWinds.com and check it out for yourself. Thanks.